there captains and welcome to this example video of the tier 9 German tech tree battlecruiser Prinz Ruprecht. Let's take a look at her equipment setup and selected commander skills before going into battle. So as you can see I have no flag selected, I've gone for a secondary build and not bothered to go for the extra range. The commander skills also showing that focus on secondaries. So, for a battle on map north, the matchmaking's not been too unkind to us. We're middle tier of an 8 9 10 battle. So, I've spawned by the sea cap, and I personally never go down the 9 and 10 line. So, what I'll do is just look to get closer to sea cap so I can start to cover it to some extent with the secondaries. Ruprecht is a comfortable upgrade over Zeton. She has an extra twin turret, better armor, and better secondaries. So, although I say the armor is better than the Zeton, even still, you do not want to expose yourself to focus fire. And learning to use island cover as much as you can will bode well in terms of extending your um, participation in a battle. Okay, the CV's doing us a favour here, giving us an early indication of the enemy deployment at sea. Blimey, it seems to be taking forever to actually close down to the cap, but we are doing 32 knots virtually. Okay, I'm going to follow my own advice here and use a bit of island cover while I wait to see a little more of the battle picture emerge. Well done, Commander. Also, if you're going to sit still in the ocean, the island will provide um, protection against any potential torpedoes coming this way. No need to use one of the hydros in that case. Okay, this position will do nicely for now. Hello, let's take a look here. This looks like an opportunity, let's give them guns a test. Two Citadels, so I called 24,000 on the first shot of the game and because I timed it as he disappeared behind the island, there's no real chance to shoot back at me. And with Prince Ruprest's good concealment, I can immediately go dark again. Lovely. Okay, C looks secure now. Let's see if I can make my way over to give a hand at B cap. Capture that area. Let's see if I can get some more shots away as I transition over to B. Not 
this time he's juked me. The ship is on fire. Oh, I got away with one there. Using that um, heel of the fire immediately, I could have been given a permafire with that second shot. Okay, let's try a shot here, but looking at B, I see the enemy off the Jutland uh, in B. Well, hopefully the friendly lightning can take care of that. Well, did the lightning take a torp? He was on full health, but he's getting his face eaten off now. And in fact, he's sunk. Okay then, let's take a cautious look at B and see if I can get the secondaries to do something to that Oster Jutland. He is tucked away in that channel between the islands though. Does he know if I'm here though? Perhaps he'll pop out into the channel here and we'll get a chance to see how these secondaries can do. Okay, I can also use the B cap as a clue and see if he starts to actually capture that area. Oster does have rapid torpedoes and I don't want to give him a chance to hit me with those so uh, let's keep an eye out for those just in case they were launched speculatively in this direction. But in fact no he doesn't have the angle for that and he is facing out of the cap so unless he reverses in he's going to head for that channel behind the islands. He should be aware that I'm here now as well because I was spotted by aircraft. Right then, I'm going to about face and take a look down that channel. Ah, he's gone unsighted. I was about to use the white line on the torpedoes to see uh, if Oster is ac actually moving. Look at here, here comes the Smolensk. I do still have hydro running, so if Oster does launch torps down that channel, I should see them in good time. Okay, I'm spotted now. I don't think that's the Smolensk, and I don't believe the other enemy destroyers in. So you're capping, in fact, it's Oster Jutland, so. Let's see if we can get these secondaries working. Okay, I'm taking some incoming from Smolensk, but I don't think he'll have the angle to continue shooting at me as I approach this island in front. Meanwhile, look what the secondaries are doing to this Oster Jutland. Love it. Oh look, can I get shots off at the piggy? That looked hairy for a few seconds, but I'm happy here with this position. That poxy island. Okay, the CV is down. Let's see if I can go and cap B now then. Okay, I need to be careful here in case I to manage to get some torps down the channel, but the secondary should finish the job now. Okay, 
Marceau finish the job. Well, look, the secondaries have a new target. I'll continue into the cap at this point, but I'm going to turn around and see if I can get some more shots off against those ships that um, are south of sea. Somebody else is doing spotting for me and given the layout of the islands here, I should be able to get shots away without being detected. Okay, this is more opportunity for the secondaries. shot because he went undetected for a second never mind oh hello look who's here okay I've got my own torps away and the secondaries are armed but uh, I don't want to take any torps from him so it's time to get out of here go job done Okay, I just need to remain alert for that Amagi pushing north. Our victory is inside. All right, nice. That last shot at the Yoshino ends up sinking it. Okay, then we're looking good. We're 500 points up, have ships and caps advantage. Time to check out this Amagi. Okay, Amagi's guns can be a threat for me, so I'm going to use island cover. Um, just checking using the torpedoes there. He is heading north at a pace. in a great position now so it's not the time to do anything rash or stupid let's get the turrets turned ready for the Amagi get our first look here and she's full broadside on Some shots away There you go, that's a cool 9,000. Right, let's get angled in and let the secondaries do their job. Take a look there, that's a good enough angle to get all four turret, turrets firing together. 
and look at the secondary hits clocking up there. And there you go, that's game. Let's take a look at the final scores then. Okay, there's 102,000 damage, uh, three ships sunk, and take a look at that, 174 secondary hits. All of that together is enough to give a second place in the team with over 2,000 base XP. Let's give Marceau a compliment for the Kraken. Okay, I hope this has given you a good view into how to play the Prince Ruprecht. Goodbye all.